Mantises may not be able to fly, but they're capable of killing prey that's several times their size. Take a look at this unsuspecting lizard. The mantis is observing it closely while the lizard thinks that insects would never attack a lizard. But this is where most small animals go wrong. Praying mantises have very powerful forelegs. They have evolved and are highly adapted not only for capturing but also gripping prey with no chance of escape. They're usually contracted when the mantis isn't attacking. And then, as soon as they see a prey, they strike with unimaginable quickness that nothing can escape their powerful grip. This lizard is no exception. You can easily see how the praying mantis struck the lizard's head before it even had a chance to react. By holding the head tightly, the mantis can now easily devour its catch with its powerful mandibles. They are strong enough to cut through tough exoskeletons of big bugs, so chopping the flesh off of this lizard's mouth is unbelievably easy. Even though the mantis has specialized forelegs with spikes on the inside helping them grip the prey, this lizard finally managed to break free. This is only because, unlike some of the other prey we're going to see, the lizard is about double or triple the size of the mantis. But will this green predator give up? Not likely. The mantis tracked its prey and attacked the lizard again, this time twisting its head and breaking the lizard's neck. Now the mantis can enjoy this large snack with the utmost leisure. This second lizard is met with a similar fate. Even though it's several times longer than the mantis, it lacks mass. This is why the mantis meticulously plans its next move and strikes when it feels the moment is right. With the precision of a sniper, the deadly blow to the head is more than enough to render the prey powerless. This way, the mantis feels no threat that the victim will spring back and attack. Oh, don't get us wrong. The lizard does try to wrap its tail around the body of the mantis and free itself, but it lacks power. Those forelegs are holding its head tightly while the mandibles are slowly tearing away at the animal. There you go, folks. Mother nature at its finest. For this next video, we have the kung fu mantis getting in trouble with a jumper spider. No, this isn't the same kung fu mantis that trained with Master Shifu in Kung Fu Panda. This is the real-life kung fu mantis that can eat anything, even its own kind. Speaking of which, we should tell you that after copulation, these green insects will grab the male's body and eat it. In a way, the male's body provides nourishment for the female until she lays the eggs. Aw, oh, romantic! Not. Now back to the Kung Fu Mantis versus the Jumping Spider. This time, the odds seem to be in favor of the spider. Even though the Kung Fu Mantis has exceptional eyesight, the spider's vision is even better. This newly hatched mantis is fast, but the big jumping spider can clear that distance in a matter of seconds. In the end, however, they confront each other. Don't let size fool you. When this mantis isn't taking on the role of predator, the kung fu mantis is capable of using actual kung fu to make itself feel larger. By waving its forelegs and spreading its hind legs, the mantis looks bigger than it actually is. This is enough to scare the spider as it runs away. In just two months, this small mantis will be just as big and just as powerful as this majestic orchid mantis. The mantis might have managed to scare away the jumping spider, but tarantulas are a whole different story. They're some of the largest arachnids on the planet, but again, the mantis has no problem tackling large prey. But what happens when that prey isn't as slow as the lizard? Well, the mantis will have trouble taking down such a large predator, so it generally gives up. Here, it tries to escape before the venomous fangs of the spider seep into the underbelly of the mantis, but what happens when a mantis sees a snake coming its way? It sure as hell doesn't run away, we'll tell you that much. Sure, the mantis won't be able to take on an anaconda, but smaller snakes are no problem. The same tactic is employed once again, waiting and observing carefully. The prey draws closer to the mantis. When, within striking distance, the mantis sleeps and tightly grabs the little snake by the head. Its powerless body is unable to squeeze and crush the mantis, so it has to endure the same grueling fate as the rest of the animals we saw. But what about this next clip? It's obvious from the video that this is a much larger snake. Does that deter the mantis? Of course not. This insect predator strikes yet again, but unlike the first snake, this time the prey fights back. Who knows, maybe it's because of the size and power of the snake, or maybe it's because the mantis started eating the midsection of the snake instead of its head. It seems like the snake had enough and decided to stop playing around. It used the tail to squeeze and crush the body of the praying mantis, and that's how the predator became the prey. Still, you have to cut it some slack, it didn't cower away. The mantis died fighting. For every video that a mantis is attacked, there are 10 more videos of a mantis taking down helpless prey. 
Take this hummingbird, for example. The mantis not only knew where to stand to attack this helpless hummingbird that came to feed, but it also knew how to attack. If you watch closely, you'll see that the mantis stays nearly motionless for about 30 seconds. This makes the hummingbird feel like the insect is not going to attack, and then, just as it drew close to the feeder, the prey mantis attacked and grabbed a hold of the little birdie. Luckily, the owner saw this and tapped the mantis a few times on its back. Scared, the predator released the hummingbird, but in the second example, the hummingbird was not so lucky. The green predator waits patiently and then strikes at just the right moment. The same tactic is employed as before, with the only difference being there was no human to help. Oh god, please stop, let's go to the next clip. Here, the mantis will try to take down prey like the venomous scorpion with one of the toughest exoskeletons in the world. We included this video as a form of vengeance. We've had enough of the mantis who's taken down hummingbirds with a smile. Let's see what it does against the scorpion. Wow. To be honest, we didn't expect the mantis to attack. We thought it would try to get away by climbing the glass wall, but no, it attacked yet again. Unlucky for the praying mantis, the black scorpion is impervious to the attack. Now, it's just a matter of grabbing this pesky mantis with your powerful claws and ripping it apart. The scorpion is one of the few predators that can harm the mantis. But what about those giant Japanese hornets? Well, unlike the scorpion, the giant hornet will not be acting as a predator of the world anymore. The mantis doesn't care about its poisonous stinger. Before the hornet could inflict any damage, or even fly away for that matter, the praying mantis took one quick leap and grabbed the Japanese hornet by the head. It's pretty much game over for now, so there's no point in watching this in full. Let's see how the mantis does against mice. Surely it won't be able to take down prey as big as a mouse, will it? Oh no. Oh, it did take it down. Man, that poor mouse did nothing to the praying mantis. It was just minding his own business, and the next thing he knew, he became lunch. Okay, we've seen enough. Time for some revenge. Enter the bullfrog. This is probably one of the most dangerous predators for any insect and small animal. The bullfrog doesn't care if it's a cockroach, a fly, or a mantis. It'll eat it in a matter of seconds. Here you can see him popping all of them like little pills. That's what you get for eating that helpless mouse. Now it's time for the big papa to step in. Let's see how the mantis pairs against a larger mouse. And yes, it attacked yet again. But don't get your hopes up. This big mouse will not let itself be taken down by a mantis. And that's how you make barbecue a la mantis. Let's look at some clips of mantis taking down cockroaches, the insects that the mantis is supposed to eat, not hummingbirds. And still, when it comes to those larger cockroaches near the end, it still has a hard time taking them down. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next according to your preferences.